Good evening and welcome to our Vespers, the Office of Evening Prayer. It's very nice to be able to welcome you once again into our Catholic parish of Guildford from wherever you are watching. As this week uh, progresses, we have more masses which are open for congregations, limited congregations, but we'd be very welcome to see you with us around the parish and in this church here at St. Joseph's. We do need, uh, is a vital need of stewards. We can't uh, open the church unless there is a steward or two to look after you. Uh, we are in real need of those stewards, otherwise we can't um, open the mass. Uh, we have live stream masses all this week here at 10 o'clock. Um, other masses around the parish, um, but if you can uh, manage to volunteer stewards here, we will be able to have a congregation with our live stream, which is a, a great joy to welcome you back into your own church, your mother church here in this parish of Guildford. This evening in our Vespers, we will, as usual, mention your prayers, those requests you've sent in uh, for us, and we will light a prayer for each of those intercessions as I mention them. That takes place during the intercessions of Vespers, uh, before Vespers begins, we will commence at this a traditional hour of 6 p.m. to say the Angelus. Following Vespers, um, we will have one decade of the Rosary, and the Rosary being Tuesday is the Sorrowful Mysteries, and I've chosen the Agony in the Garden. And at the end of the Rosary, we will end with the evening anthem to Our Lady, the Salve Regina. So we commence now with the Angelus, the message of the incarnation given to Mary by the angel, angel Gabriel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The hymn for Vespers is taken from the Breviary. Before we end our day, O Lord, we make this prayer to you, that you continue in your love to guard your people here. Give us this night untroubled rest and build our strength anew your splendor driving far away all darkness of the foe. Our hearts desire to love you, Lord, watch over while we sleep, that when the new day dawns on high, we may your praises sing. All glory be to you, O Christ, who saved mankind from death, to share with you the Father's love 
and in the Spirit live. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp, I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy without end. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Store up treasure for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call, like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning, their outward show vanishes, and the graves become their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases, he takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Store up treasure for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honor. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And you have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, 
They are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as an expiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. And we repeat that. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. I will find happiness at your right hand forever. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You will give me the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. Christ is the shepherd of his flock. He loves and cares for his people. We turn to him in trust and say, Lord, we need your care. Christ our Lord, you are pastor of all the ages. Protect our Bishop Richard and all the pastors of your church. Lord, we need your care. Be with those who are persecuted for their faith and those cut off from the support of the church. Good Shepherd, in their pain and isolation, may they know your care. Lord, we need your care. Bring healing to the sick. Give nourishment to the hungry. Lord, we need your care. We remember those who make our laws and those who apply them. Lord, give them wisdom and discernment. Lord, we need your care. Gather the flock for which you laid down your life. Bring home to their father's house all who have died in your peace. Lord, we need your care. We now pray for those intentions that you have asked us to, and lighting a candle for each one of you that will burn into the darkness of the evening. We pray for the well being of Kathleen Down.
that we may have more volunteer stewards to enable us to open more masses for the parish. For Jan and Kevin's family who have birthdays this week, Anthony, Liz, Joe, Freddie, Megan and Henry. For the well-being of Joseph Ash and Thomas Harrington. And we pray for our sick, for the recovery of Ed Alperto, a staff nurse at the Royal Surrey Hospital. We pray for Father Tony Collins in hospital and in much need of prayer at this time. For all those living with cancer, particularly for Carol Pickett, Andrew, Judith, and Rod. We continue to pray for Teresa Hayes living in her home. For Anita Branson, seriously ill. We pray for Nick Belak, just diagnosed with an incurable tumour, for Wong Lu, for Robert Henderson, and Francesca. We pray for Norman Payne, who's recovering at home from a fall. For all those who have died recently or whose anniversaries occur at this time, we pray for the soul of Philip Briley, who died on Sunday evening in hospital. We pray for the peace and consolation of his wife, Veronica, his daughters, Fiona and Stephanie, and their families who never had the opportunity to say their goodbyes. And we pray for Veronica, now in need of a carer. We pray for the repose of the souls of Zabadiah, Zabadiah Saunders and Christine Morgan, who shared the same birthday today. And we pray for the souls of Patrick Duffy, John Scroston, Glenn Abuyan, Eddie Jean Quick, Paul Johnson, Anne, Pauline Soper, and Father John Healy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. So let us sum up all our prayers in the great prayer that our Jesus, our Jesus Christ himself taught us. As we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Yours is the day and yours the night, Lord God, let the sun of justice shine so steadily in our hearts that we may come at length to that light where you dwell eternally. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. So we now come to reciting a brief part of the rosary, just one decade, 
and that is the Sorrowful Mysteries being Tuesday. And we contemplate, particularly during our recitation of the Hail Mary, Christ's agony in the garden. The humanity he had which flinched at the crucifixion to come. And yet the divinity overcome, came that humanity. Not my will, but yours, he said to his father. And he went ahead with it. Let us pray for that same sort of commitment in our own lives and remembering all those who have got terminal illnesses at this time, facing their death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. <coughs> A te clamamus, exules filiebe, A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos 
Dios misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be found worthy of the promises of Christ 